Now to a question being asked tonight. Where is the money? A fund set up to help those who responded to the mass shooting at Sandy Hook has apparently been wiped out. And now the organization responsible for that money is on the hot seat. Our chief capital reporter Susan Rapp tells us what's being done about all of this. Susan? Denise, the fund was set up for first responders and teachers, any other educators, those who were disturbed and even traumatized by what they saw at Sandy Hook. Now, the money came from donations, but more than $100,000 is gone. What happened at Sandy Hook Elementary was a terrible tragedy, and it had a devastating impact, especially for police, emergency personnel, and educators. When you start out with $115,000, and you only on the books pay out $12,000, yet you have $6,300 left only in your account, there's a lot of money missing. Republican lawmakers say they're outraged that $103,000 donated to help first responders is now missing. Two Newtown first responders had a PTSD claim denied. One police trooper was denied because when language was drafted, it erroneously covered only school personnel. When lawmakers asked the attorney general to investigate, they were told, we have no basis to believe that there has been any misuse or misapplication of the funds. But the AG says they were only asked to look into the claim, not the missing money. State auditors were urged to take a look. We asked, well, where's the remaining money? And that's why we, when we determined that the money was mixed in with the rest of our funds. The fund was managed by United Labor Agency, a charity controlled by the AFL-CIO. Union attorneys say there will now be more oversight, and they've replaced the $103,000. If light had not been shed on this, that we wouldn't be here today. That's hypothetical. And all I can tell you is when the light was shined, and when the ULA board became aware of it, the Connecticut AFL-CIO immediately uh, transferred funds to make the fund whole again. Union attorneys told us today that no claim was denied to those who were eligible, and from now on, they're going to keep donations separate from their operating funds. Next Saturday, the 14th, it will be seven years since the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.